Hi guys, today we are going to understand how to determine the amplitude or argument of a complex number. For that, let us first understand what a complex number is. So a complex number is represented by Z which is written as A plus B I where A is called as the real part of the complex number and B is called as the imaginary part of the complex number where A and B are both real numbers. Now let us draw an x axis and a y axis. Let us call this x axis as the real axis on which we will show the real part of a complex number and let us call this y axis as the imaginary part axis on which we will show the imaginary part of a complex number. Let us consider a complex number z is equal to a plus bi. Now let us try to draw this complex number on our graph. Let us move A units on the real axis and B units on the imaginary axis. This is our complex number Z. Let us call this point as A. Now let us draw a line segment OA. As you can see line segment OA is the modulus of the complex number. It is denoted by mod of Z. Now by Pythagoras theorem we can simply say that mod of z is nothing but under root a square plus b square. Now what is the amplitude or argument of a complex number? It is the angle this mod of z makes with the positive direction of x axis. Over here you can see this theta is the angle made by this complex number with the positive direction of real axis or x axis. Now you can see from this triangle O A B that tan theta is equal to A B upon O A. So what is A B? It is nothing but B units and what is O A is nothing but A units. Therefore tan theta is equal to B upon A. Therefore theta or amplitude of z or argument of z is nothing but tan inverse of b by a. Let us consider a complex number z is equal to 2 plus 2i. Let us first draw it on our graph. So 2 plus 2i means we have to move 2 units on the real axis and 2 units on the imaginary axis. So let us call this point as point A. Let us draw OA. As you can see this angle made over here is nothing but argument of Z. As this complex number is in the first quadrant the minimum value of angle would be 0 degree and the maximum value would be 90 degree. So according to our formula theta is equal to tan inverse b by a as we can see b is 2 and a is 2. So theta will be equal to tan inverse 2 upon 2 which is equal to tan inverse 1 which is nothing but 45 degree or pi by 4 radians. Therefore amplitude or argument of z over here is pi by 4 radians. Now let us consider another complex number z is equal to minus 2 plus 2i. It means we have to move 2 units on the left hand side of our origin. So 2 units on the left hand side of our origin and minus 2 plus 2i means 2 units on the imaginary axis. So 2 units on the imaginary axis. Let us call this point as point B. Let us draw a line segment OB. Now this line segment OB represents our complex number but the angle it makes with the positive direction of real axis can be treated like this. Now as we can see this is in the second quadrant so the angle will be between 90 degree and 180 degree. So let us apply the formula our amplitude of z is equal to tan inverse b by a which is equal to tan inverse 2 upon minus 2 which is equal to tan inverse of minus 1. But from the graph we can see that this complex number is in the second quadrant so our formula will be pi minus tan inverse of 1. Now what is tan inverse of 1? It is just pi by 4 radians so therefore our amplitude of z will be 
pi minus pi by 4 which is nothing but 3 pi by 4 radians which in degrees can be treated as 135 degrees as we can see the angle over here is 135 degrees therefore amplitude of z is 135 degrees or 3 pi by 4 radians now let us consider another example in which z is represented as minus 2 minus 2i it means we have to move two units on the left side of our origin on the real axis and two units on the downside of imaginary axis so here we reach let us call this point as point c let us draw line segment oc this represents our complex number now the angle it makes with the positive direction of real axis will be treated as this as we can see the angle is more than 180 degree and less than 270 degrees let us apply the formula amplitude of z is equal to tan inverse of b by a but over here b is minus 2 and a is also minus 2 so it will be tan inverse of minus 2 upon minus 2 which will be equal to tan inverse of 1 but the actual angle this complex number makes with the positive direction of real axis is greater than 180 hence our formula we change to pi plus tan inverse of 1 now tan inverse of 1 as we all know is pi by 4 radians so the answer would be pi plus pi by 4 which is nothing but 5 pi by 4 radians or 225 degrees as we can see from the graph that it is exactly 225 degrees so over here amplitude or argument of z is 225 degrees or 5 pi by 4 radians now let us move towards our last example in which z is represented as 2 minus 2i 2 minus 2i means we have to move two units on the right hand side of the origin on the real axis and two units downside of the imaginary axis so we will reach here let us call this point as point d let us draw line segment o d this is our complex number now the angle it makes with the positive direction of x axis can be treated like this or it can also be treated like a negative angle in which the angle makes a clockwise rotation which is this so we will prefer the negative angle over here let us go back to the formula amplitude or argument of z is nothing but tan inverse of b by a what is our b it is minus 2 what is our a it is 2 so theta will be equal to tan inverse of minus 1 as it is the negative angle our formula will change to theta is equal to minus tan inverse of 1 now tan inverse of 1 as we all know is nothing but pi by 4 so the amplitude or argument of z over here in the fourth quadrant is nothing but minus pi by 4 radians or minus 45 degrees let us get rid of this let us draw a new real axis and a new imaginary axis now while dealing with the amplitude or argument of any complex number we need to only know the quadrant in which the complex number actually lies let us say it lies in the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and the fourth quadrant thank you for watching the video for more such videos please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the daily updates if you want us to make videos on any particular topics, do let us know in the comment section below.